Hey, how's it going? It's Mr. Bill here again today. Um, today I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on, on freezing and flattening. It's just a bit of a, a thing that I overlooked a little while ago. And um, I've just gotten into the habit of, of freezing stuff and bouncing it in this way now. Uh, it's kind of basic, but I thought I'd just go over it anyway. So I've just created a MIDI clip here. I did that by just highlighting a section on the grid and pressing Command Shift M. I'm just going to loop that now by pressing Command L. Then I'm going to chuck an analog in there and I'm just going to create a noise wave and just create a C3, I guess. For as long as it is, white noise doesn't actually have any pitch, so it doesn't really matter what you tune it to. I'll just turn this live button off here. Uh, up the top here, if you've got this uh, red button enabled, it means it's in live mode and it means it's going to try and play clips from this view only. So if you just press that, it'll start playing your stuff in arrangement again. So there we go, I've got some white noise. I might just filter it a little bit. That's good. All right, so the quickest way to bounce this into audio is just right click, freeze track, hold alt and just drag it to an audio track and it's that simple. And then you can just unfreeze the track again. You still have the MIDI clip. Um, alternatively, you can freeze it and then you can right click again and you can click flatten and that'll turn it into audio also. But just in case you want to keep the MIDI, you can just freeze it, hold your alt key and just drag it onto a new track like so. So yeah, um, <clears throat> it's just a quick basic little trick, but I thought I'd share it with you guys anyway. So yeah, cheers. Take it easy.